a year just asked to take a break um, so here's what you're going to say you're gonna say I understand I don't want to hold you back from whatever you feel is gonna make you happy I need you to understand that a break is a breakup it means we are not together it means we are single um, and then um, and ask him like like what do you mean by a break do you mean some space for how long what are the communication parameters or do you mean a break as in like not communicating with each other uh, don't know when you're gonna come back kind of thing so if it's if it's just like taking some space which I did I went to Florida for three months I didn't break up with my husband but I needed some space and I took it um, and we were you know obviously in, in contact because we were still together so ask him like what does that mean to you does that mean you know we're not we're not talking to each other it's an indefinite amount of time uh yeah so get get the details and uh if it's like you know i don't know right when you say for how long he says i don't know that's a breakup it's a breakup and you don't wait you don't stay in the boat you get no more assholes to find your next relationship you are a single so get over this relationship go through a grieving period but define your next relationship because if he wants back with you you need to have a new definition. You need to have leveled this up. Don't go back to the same old, same old because it's going to be Groundhog Day. You're going to break up again over the same reasons. How long did it take to get straight teeth? One year with the Invisalign. Yeah, one year with Invisalign. How do you tell a guy what you expect as in coffee dates when you want a proper date uh, don't tell him what you expect um, so by the way the first couple dates should be a coffee date because if he's gonna pay for it which you know we want because we want somebody generous we don't want a scorekeeper if he's going to pay for it um, then it's a cheap date because the only reason you're having these first few dates is to have a vibe check so all you want to like the one question is do i want to see them again that's it it's a vibe check and nobody should pay a lot of money for a vibe check look who we got we got mr choo choo mr cuddlepuss uh how much should a man spend on an engagement ring so you know what like here's the thing uh diamonds are ridiculously expensive for zero reason so um you know what like he sh he, sh he shouldn't put himself in debt um uh, he shouldn't put himself in debt uh i i don't think getting engaged and getting married should be a debt uh I, I honestly you guys i'm all for city hall instead of the big wedding super simple wear something nice um you know just your closest friends go to a friend's house after for some cocktails and some food um but uh you know like really rethink the engagement ring i think now it's time to rethink a lot of things rethink the engagement ring a uh what is it is it a white white um white sapphire or something anyways like it doesn't need to be a diamond if you want a clear if you want a clear looking stone it doesn't need to be a diamond there are a bunch of other stones that are clear and beautiful um you know get like just you can make it really inexpensive you guys and it can be really beautiful is my point so the i don't think there should be a cost to the ring um right i i don't think you know i'm not gonna sit here and say five thousand dollars uh it doesn't need to be that it literally can be a few hundred dollars i want an opal that was my mother's birthstone yes yes A guy contacted me after months to talk, even though we discussed we have different religious views. Why do you think he did that? Just to see if you were up for some sex. I wear a silicone ring, ten dollars, been happily married for seventeen years. Love it. Uh, 
and boyfriend and I are taking a break for a few days after a big fight, advice on moving on after the break, and get fix that shit and, and really start working on having a conflict-free relationship. I think that's the best thing you can do right now, my love. advice on when your partner doesn't want to take engagement photos and the other person does um you know what like their love is a verb love is what you do for the other the other person um and you know i think that's something that that you should say to them is is you know i really want you to understand that this isn't something you have to like you don't have to like it but i would like to commemorate this time in our lives. I would like something to look back on and go, this this was us, you know? I Listen, I have a photo shoot from my husband and I from 15 years ago, from the summer we were in love, right? And he didn't do that because he wanted to. He hates having his picture taken, but he did it because he loved me. Love that color, thank you. A really good, sometimes you guys, it's okay to say to your partner, you don't have to like it. I'm going to tell you guys the answer that popped in my head. I just blocked the person who wrote this. I didn't want to give them the satisfaction of like giving an answer while they were here. But I just thought, I just came up with the funniest answer. Anyways, this guy, like obviously is some trolley, right? Uh, it says, my girlfriend won't peg me, what should I do? And my the answer that popped in my head is, well, then you should go fuck yourself. So, anyway, hello, lovelies. $200 is not the lowest. Not the lowest what? What's the matter, honey bunny? Da, 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 da. <laughs> Uh, I do have a sense of humor. Thank you. My ex and I broke up because I couldn't visit him and he couldn't visit me. And that's a good reason. You know, it was, uh, thank you, lovely. Um, some people um, uh, say, you know, should I start a long distance relationship? And I like to say, why not start a relationship with somebody you can go to dinner with? Looking forward to reading Fix That Shit. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, I see. Uh, what do you think of someone who spent barely $200 on a ring that didn't have any stones or gold? I, I don't have opinions, but I, you know, I don't think a man should um, buy a woman a ring without uh, consulting her, right? Um, engagement rings are very personal to women and we have a style, right? So, um, it, it's, I don't think men should, uh, buy us something that might not be our style. So a woman sh should always have her input on an engagement ring. It's very important because we like to do this. <gasps> I got engaged, right? Like we like to do that. So, um, it needs to be a ring that we like. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Do you think it's helpful to live separately from your significant other in order to work on yourself? Um, like sometimes we do need some breathing space. Like it's it's been too much for too long. And and we just, it's, I just, I just, I just need to go breathe for a little bit, right? So space can be okay. You know, the... And, and, and the space is like, I just need some space. We're not breaking up, we're still together. We're still gonna talk, you know, every day or close to every day. Um, but I just need some physical space from this. Um, okay, my I do's, click my picture up here. Once or twice, you're gonna get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. Uh, it's not going to be negotiable for me. You're getting funky stones, no diamond, no gold. That's cute. Uh, best place to meet a good man, no more bars, right? Uh, online, seriously, like, p 
people who are looking for a relationship are going to the easiest place to find other people who are looking for a relationship. Yes, there's lots of trolls online. Yes, there's lots of people looking for hookups. Yes, there's both men and women who are largely dysfunctional and users and takers. Yes, you need to weed through it. You need to find the diamond in the rough. Um, but they're there. Uh, if I need to buy my own ring, I'm staying single. Can you see me? I see you. Uh, just lots of comments going by. Charlie! Come here. Why do women self-sabotage before it gets to meeting someone or asked out to meet? Uh, are you saying women in general? Are you saying you, my love? Are you saying you? If it's you, if that's what you do, uh, set up a coaching session so we can figure out what's going wrong. Do I love come back queen. Oh, thank you, my love. Thank you. My wife loves to gamble and it's her money, but she's in debt. Should I say something? Of course, it's not just her money. It's your collective retirement. Is it going to be just your money for your retirement? So here's what you're going to say to her. You're going to say, look, it is, it is your money. By all means, it's your money. But we need to save together for our retirement. So here's a joint bank account. You need to put a certain amount in every month towards our retirement. Um, because I don't want to be the only one funding our golden years. Do, do, do. Guys, do repost if you need to. I saw a lot of stuff go by and I can't go back that far. How did you and your husband work through a rough patch? How did you bounce back after a fight? So, um, the, we did not bounce back after fights. Um, we would just like just surrender to not be fighting all the time and even though we stopped talking the fight the fight was still going on in our heads so literally we fought for like almost 10 years um the way that it ended was i started meditating i started monitoring what i was going to say before i said it having the conversations in my head figuring things out um you know, finding myself as the solution instead of going to him and saying, fix me. So that's how we stop fighting. And, you know, because up until that point, it was really just constant. Uh, how is the men's fix that shit different? It's not largely different, but it's fix that shit. This one is me telling women how to fix ourselves and how men are. So fix that shit for men is me teaching men how to fix ourselves and how women are. How do you stop fighting with your significant other? I just want us to stop, but I also don't want to stand for disrespect. I don't know what you mean by disrespect or what's happening there. Um, might need to get a coaching session to see if you're with a selfish short-term thinker. But if you are with a generous long-term thinker and you do what is in fix that shit, it will turn it all around. If you're with a generous long-term thinker who loves you and you do what's in fix that shit, it does make a major difference. What advice would you give a girl who's never had a relationship to read No More Assholes and Dating 101? These two books, Dating 101 and No More Assholes, is going to help you understand how to navigate the dating world. Uh, so if you are interested in a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click the coaching button. It takes you to a page, follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. You're so welcome. Have I ever had anxiety with a partner? Oh yes. You still need to look up nobody, nobody, nobody. And do your own version. <laughs> uh, ever felt flighty in a relationship? Questioning if it's right? Yeah, I have. How to let go of 18 years of shit with a husband? What book? Um, so are you staying or are you leaving? If you're leaving and it hurts, then come back queen. If you're staying and you're trying to make it work, then fix that shit. But he needs to be a generous long-term thinker who loves you. Tips for first date after meeting online, meet at a coffee shop in an interesting area, grab a beverage, go for a walk. 
side by side is much more comfortable and natural than an interview. You are welcome. Is it important to not hook up with anyone if I'm not interested in being taken? If you're not looking for a relationship, then hooking up is where it's at if you want to have some fun time. Uh, if you do want a relationship, then you want to use that no kissing, no sex, no sleepover for three months dating rule. How do you know if he's a short-term thinker or a long-term thinker? So there are 12 character traits that help you define that. You will find those in No More Assholes. He, I keep saying he needs to get at least a 9 out of 12, but really he needs to be a 12 out of 12. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Well, at what age is too young to settle down? There are couples where they met like when they were 9, and then they started dating when they were in their teens, and they have just been together forever. Um, they're ready to get married and settle down at, you know, 20. So I think it all depends. Am I a 12 out of 12? Uh, mostly, mostly. Um, I'm pretty good at the, um, I'm, I'm pretty good at the jealousy part. I, he, you know what, he, um, like I'm okay, like I was, I was okay with my husband being friends. I am, my, he's still friends. My husband, like, oh, well, they don't really talk that much anymore. Um, but when my husband and I were together, he was still friends with his, with his ex, and I didn't have a problem with that. Um, would I be okay if he was friends with someone else? Probably, because I know who he is. So I would, I, I would. I would be struggling with the jealousy part um, in the 12. I would be struggling with that, but I would work through it whenever that feeling would arise. Um, uh, almost a 12 out of 12. When should I inform him about my health issues? After you realize that he's uh, like into you, he's around you for the right reasons. So. First, you have the um, fundamental values conversation because there's no point having that conversation unless you know two things. Do you share the same fundamental values? Is he willing to do a no kissing for three months dating rule to give you time and space to get to know him before you start a committed relationship? If the answer is no to those, there's no reason to talk about your health issues because this isn't the right one. Interesting, never thought of you as a jealous type. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely territorial. I am definitely territorial. I'm okay if my husband wants to watch The Hub. Totally fine with that. If he were to interact with any girls like that, I'd be like, no motherfucker. Um, but The Hub is totally anonymous. I don't have a problem with that. Um, I, I, like, I have, like, a spike of anxiety if he's going somewhere with another woman. But then I quickly talk my way through it and I settle myself down. My boyfriend stays at his parents a lot when he's depressed. How do I say it? it bothers me how much he is? So that's his way of dealing with his mental health is to go run back to mom and dad's. Do you guys live together does, or does he have his own place? As a young man living minimally and pursuing a career, should I accept being single for the foreseeable future? You Listen, are you ambitious? Are you hardworking? Um, like, are you a good partner or are you controlling? Are you jealous? Are you insecure? Um, you know, are you financially responsible? You can find a woman who's willing to build alongside you. I'm late. I was wondering if you'd answer the whole stage. If I'd answered the whole stage before settling down, I was doing the whole stage after settling down and before. I had I had so much fun, you guys. I had so much fun. Um, yeah. I uh <laughs> I got stories. Oh yeah, no. I had fun. Advice for overweight guys, can girls be found? Absolutely. Absolutely. Try to shame me. Please, please, please. I love my life. You can't make me feel bad about my life. 
what do you do if your partner isn't sure if they want to work things out and fix them? Um, then you, you say, okay, because you can't change people, right? So if they don't want to, um, you say, <laughs> you, you say, okay, um, I can't make you do anything you don't want to do. Um, I guess that means that we are over. And then what you need to do, my love, is get no more assholes. Get yourself in a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. How do I find a woman willing to build with me? You can start online. I did write a book for you. Uh, this one here. Read this. Uh, the Perfect Play. And you can find a woman who is willing to sacrifice alongside you. My husband uh you know was building a business when i got into a relationship with him and you know he is ambitious he is hard working and i he financially responsible very smart and i knew he would be a good gamble right it would be a safe gamble because he just is that kind of person conscientious hard working ambitious responsible and i sacrificed alongside him because I trusted him and that's another thing I knew about him trustworthy so I looked at him and I said yeah I'm I'm in for this I'm in for this I can I can do this I can sacrifice one marshmallow today for two marshmallows tomorrow what does it mean when a guy says no commitment but he keeps talking about future plans and engagements uh, it sounds like gaslighting like it, re it really does sound like he's just messing with you really sounds like he's messing with you so no commitment so like i'm not your boyfriend don't ask me to do boyfriend things um i might do some boyfriend things but it doesn't mean we're together don't be in a relationship with somebody who bullshits you like that uh right like that that's just it's not okay so say to him this was fun but i'm done my playtime and i'm now looking for a committed long-term relationship so i need to shut this down because he's just keeping you he's just going to string you along string you along say those things you want to hear but make it clear we're not in a relationship so he gets to say why well, i told you all along we weren't in a relationship well yeah you were talking about all these things well yeah but i still kept telling you that no commitment so goodbye motherfucker because i don't want to be strung along by somebody who makes it abundantly clear they have zero interest in having a relationship. Worries about long-term compatibility. How do you communicate these fears to significant other? You you don't need, why are you worried about long-term compatibility? That's the question. This sounds like a coaching session, my love. By the way, all the advice you guys get on here is not professional advice. Make no mistake, it is worth every penny you pay if you want actual professional advice you do need to get a coaching session because that's where i can get all the relevant information in order to give you the advice that is relevant to your situation writing one sentence and thinking the answer that i give you based on this one-sided 100 character thing you wrote is not professional advice just so you know uh, what program did you do in school? So I dropped out of uh, the sociology program at Laurier. Once I realized I didn't want to go work for a organization, but I wanted to work for myself because the only reason I was going to university was to go get that piece of paper to go work for someone else. But when I realized that going to be a therapist or a counselor under someone else's roof meant I was going to have to work by their rules. And those rules are you're not supposed to share your story and you're not supposed to tell them what to do. And that's like, that's complete opposite of how I want to operate. I want people to understand, I get them. And I want to coach them. I want to teach them what they need to do to undo what is happening in their lives. By the way, in many ways and in many instances, the mental health business, because it's a business, make no mistake, I read it up there with the pharmaceutical business. They're in business to have clients. A lot of these people are not looking to heal you. They're looking to make money week after week. So if you've been going to therapy and you don't feel like you're any further ahead, you're going to therapy with somebody who's collecting your money. They're just collecting and counting your money. 
if they're not giving you tools, if after two sessions they haven't gotten you to start meditating, they're just collecting your money. I've, I've got an email right here I'm going to turn into a TikTok, and I get these all the time, all the time. Somebody did one session with me and messaged me and said, I got more out of that one session than I did after a year of therapy. Yes, I'm finishing my master's in counseling this fall. I don't want to do regular counseling. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't like their rules. I was in an abusive relationship. Now find it hard to voice how I feel without being scared. Come get coaching, my love, if you want to get your scripts. I love you guys. Oh my God, my best friend is stuck in a relationship with a guy who has no aspiration or motivation. Hope she wakes up. What if she does drugs? Do you think I can change her? No. No, no we don't get into relationships to change people. It is not our job to change people. People change themselves. Oh, do I feel like the party host stage was necessary to me being able to settle down? No, it's, it's, it's you know, going through, it's, it's not like I had to get something out of my system. Um, right. It's just like, this is what I want to do. This is enjoyable. This is fun. Um, but it wasn't like I needed to work something out of my system in order to settle down. Uh, and just to be clear, um, like in my relationship with my husband and my first husband, you know, I went to swingers clubs with both of them. Uh, like, and we didn't swing, by the way. I'm an exhibitionist and a voyeur. That's what was exciting for me about that. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm just, like, this is a human body, and it's got pleasure points, and it's designed to enjoy things. Like, the auditory system is designed to make you feel things, right? Everything you smell, everything you taste, like, there's pleasure in that, and how your body is touched, there's pleasure in that. Why hold back on that? Um, right? I didn't, I didn't follow societal rules when it came to how I put my body out there into the world. I, I asked myself, what do I want? I like being an exhibitionist. I like being with girls. I like some of those things that I did, right? Like, it was just like, do I want this? Yeah, I do. So I don't care what other people think. Uh, I like your advice and how do you do things? I much prefer it instead of, yes. So uh, if you're interested in a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a coaching button. Click on that. It takes you to a page. Make sure you read that carefully and see if this is right for you. We all have so much life experience. We should be able to share with one another. Yes. I love my therapist, she's amazing, but your sessions and books have helped me so much more. Thank you, my love. Adelie, hello, beautiful. Thank you, lovely. Uh, a session with me is one hour. How do you recommend getting experience in counseling before a master's? Um, so when it comes to coaching, you never want to try and coach, in my opinion, right? Um, because I see a lot of people teaching what they've never learned. And I, I don't think that that's, for me, ethical um, by my standard, by my standard, I don't think it's ethical to try and teach someone something you've never achieved. You've never been successful at. So, um, what I suggest you do is pick something that you have changed in yourself and start giving this knowledge away and start teaching people, um, anybody, anybody who'll learn from you, teach them how to change it themselves. And I really feel like this is going to help you understand how to coach people. So give it away, right? And coaching therapy, what's what's the difference, right? For I mean, really, you're listening to somebody come with their problem. The difference for me, the di like really the big difference between therapy and coaching, the similarity is the listening part. 
the difference is the execution. In coaching, you're supposed to give them tools. Okay, I hear what your problem is. Here's how you can change this. And that for me is the difference between coaching and standard therapy. Standard therapy, and seriously guys, I got this straight from the horse's mouth. My first husband's next wife is a child psychologist. She was just starting. Like when he met her, she was finishing her PhD and then she started work. So I saw her go from finishing school to starting work in a school as a child psychologist. And I was starting to go to university and I was talking to her about the profession. And she said, you're not supposed to tell them your story and you're not supposed to tell them what to do because quote unquote, it's more powerful if they figure it out on their own. And I went, mm, really? Because in, listen, if you're coming to me because you're confused, as far as I'm concerned, my job is to unconfuse you. Not wait until you figure it out on your own. You could have done that without paying me money, right? Like, so, oh, I got on this tangent. I forgot why. I forgot why. Um, yeah, so I, I, in terms of getting some experience before getting your master's, just pick something to teach people that you yourself have achieved because you you know the nuances. When you've gone from not being successful to being successful, successful in a particular topic, you really understand the nuances of the journey. So then you can coach that. So give this away. Anybody who will take this information from you and, and take it and apply it and learn it and change themselves, keep doing this over and over and over. Keep coaching people on that topic. The motto is to give it away till they can't live without it. Do you remember your first official coaching session and how you felt? Yes, I do. Um, like my first paid, right? My first paid. Um, I was, I was nervous. I was a little bit nervous, but I didn't show it, right? Because you know, I'm the one who's supposed to be the confident one in the room, right? But I was, I was a little bit nervous, but it went really well, and and she, she got like, you know, the whole package and. Uh, she got a few packages because she went like from single to online, finding somebody, doing the no kissing for three months dating rule, kissing somebody in three months. Um, so she had me coach her through the whole transition, which was amazing. Uh, I always thought that was dumb. If they knew what to do, they wouldn't need help. I know, right? Uh, do you coach about coping with negative self-image? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, my love. Um, if you want some help with that, go to my bio, click on the link tree, click that coaching button and, and choose which option is right for you. What do you think of retroactive jealousy? My girlfriend often gets upset over stuff in the past. I think it's extremely damaging and she needs to stop. She needs to be present and in the moment and conscious of what is happening in the moment, not spinning over the past. Some people will never figure it out. I'm an Arab Muslim in coaching sessions. Do you think you can do it considering cultural differences? So I see Asnaz is answering. Uh, so I like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, like I, I'm very open to other people's cultures. Um, so Asnes is saying that, um, you know, I do see some things that go against her Muslim culture. Um, what are you again? Turkish Muslim. So when, th you know, I, I understand that different cultures will do things differently. Right. And so, um, I would never uh, I, well, I would never, I don't know. Um, so, you know, as Nancy is saying that I say stuff about ignoring family, go against what they say, which isn't always as simple. Um, and I understand that in, in, in certain cultures, like, uh, uh, like, you know, Chinese culture, um, Muslim culture, very family entrenched. So, uh, certainly different from our Western culture here, where we kind of, you know, the, the, 
in, in a way the ideal is like, okay, you're an adult, you should fly from the nest, right? Whereas in some cultures, it's you don't leave the nest until you get married kind of thing. So I can certainly take those differences into consideration when working with other cultures. Uh, I think your advice is correct, even if it's not easy for us. <laughs> you're lovely. Thank you, Aznaz. Uh, how do you know if it was a trauma bond? I don't I don't do labels. Like I have some labels that I use to help you guys understand what I say. Like, you know, guys or girls are selfish short-term thinkers, men or women are generous long-term thinkers, just to help you understand mindsets. But um I don't do this trauma bond um label. I don't do that uh um what's that other one there that people that talk about so much? Um the attachment theories, I don't, I don't do that. Um, I think we are so changeable that labels are not quite necessary. And I think we simplify things very much when we focus on the behaviors rather than labels. Uh, I've heard someone advise to only go against family if you have your own place and money. Well, yeah. But like seriously, like if you're not independent yet, then then don't like like that's a parent child dynamic. If your parents are still supporting you, then you know my roof, my rules, right? My roof, my my rules. If you want to follow your own rules, get your own place. Uh, Chantal's advice might not always match for LGBTQ or cultural differences, but we can always translate. Very well said. Thank you, my friend. True, true. La, da, da. What about throwing your past up that you told your partner about? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, someone got in trouble. Someone got in trouble. They didn't like you. Lovelies. Um, question. Uh, so guys, um, I am doing a twelve week mind like like. Uh, and like just getting us all in order uh, like 12 weeks of just getting the body in order getting the nutrition in order um so that the brain functions better uh this is going to be like all about you know the how i how i divide us into three parts the physical body the logical brain the spiritual connections we are going to get intense about this for 12 weeks i'm going to do this in august um i have experts on fitness nutrition your body, how we function, how our brain functions. Um, we're gonna have experts talking to us about this. We're gonna do two workouts a week uh, live. We're gonna do a cooking show every week live. I'm gonna do a fireside chat every week live. I'm gonna bring in special guests or bring a special topic or do a Q&A with you. Also gonna do a weekly um, soul session where we're gonna do manifestations or meditations or intention setting. Um, so if you guys want to do this with me to take 12 weeks to really address your physical body, your logical mind, your spiritual connections, then come add your name to the email list that I've created. It's, it says three month lifestyle, uh, membership. So hit that button in the late tree in my bio so that I know to send you some more information as I put it together. I've been pretty busy doing lives and making TikToks, so I need to take the time to like sit down and really hammer it out what everything is. Um, I'm still in the process of formulating some of it. So if you want to take part in this, uh, there's going to be a 24-hour window where you can get an early bird pricing, by the way. It's going to be half off. So um, I am going to give you guys an opportunity to get in at a fairly affordable price on it. So if you guys feel like you are interested in this, come add your name to that email list. Could you do small talk through an example of prompts meditating through depression feelings? 
This sounds complicated. I don't even know what I'm reading here. Will the live videos be saved? Yes, they will. Um, everything is going to be um, put into a video so that you can watch the replay. Um, and the videos are, it's going to be, going to be cute. We're going to put some editing in the videos as well. So the live is going to be interesting to watch, but the replay is also going to be interesting to watch. So we are going to make it so super dynamic, you guys. It's really going to be super fun and exciting. Um, I literally already have two, uh, two professionals lined up. They are experts in movement and nutrition. Broke up with him over at Buddy Blaine, so you're not letting go is the reason. Guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Ba, 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 ba. Uh oh, did we freeze up? I do. Okay, my love. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, look at you guys. You're so adorable. You're so cute. I see you. Uh, okay, what you're going to do, you're going to click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop up, and the pop up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. Could you please recommend a book that helps teach us how to have a healthy relationship? Yes, it is Fix That Shit. Fix That Shit is a book that's going to help you have a healthy relationship. I subscribed yesterday. Um, so, Miss South, Miss Southern, Southern Sass, love that. Uh, did you get an email, a follow-up email that had a countdown on it? Melodious followed the host. Thank you, love. I did. I love it. Love it. Welcome, welcome. I found, okay, we'll have to check. Do 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 do. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. Uh oh, having a really hard time with house guests. He is rude to me. I don't care, but we live together. Well, like. Can you change your environment? So this is a particular, right? Um, you would need to get a coaching session if you want me to help you with this because I do need to get more details. What is it about? What is what about? get mad about me, me being hurt or jealous over past issues but he bring those women back oh so he's a gaslighter he's a gaslighter do, 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 do. what kind of relationship did he have with those women was he flirting with them where the ego strokes? Was this a guy? Was this a selfish short-term thinker? Are you better off without him? Are you going to get no more assholes? Use that no kissing for three months dating role and not fall for someone again? <laughs> Follow you into the dark. Are we all good with the video and the sound, you guys? Are we all good with video and sound? Hey from Alberta, all good, okay. Hello, Tyla.
video and sound are good. Good, good, good. Shooby dooby dude. What? You guys are hilarious. Ariana, I followed the host. Thank you. Tyler followed the host. Thank you. Do you believe in right person, wrong time? I believe absolutely everything is possible, including that. Including that. I'll follow you into the dark. Do, 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 do. Okay, my lovelies. My lovely lovelies. Uh, I'm going to head out. I'm going to go do some stuff on my, um, I gotta, I gotta do some work on this 12 week program I have coming up. I need to create some more exciting things, um, to help you guys understand exactly what is going to happen with that. So, oh, I did buy your book, reading Comeback Queen now and looking over programs. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I'm going to give you guys one more chance to set yourself up to get a notification when I come back live. Click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. Do go into the link tree in my bio. You can hit that coaching button. See if coaching is right for you. I have free stuff in there. There's a free book, free meditation guide, free long distance manual. Um, I do have a merch store. Go get yourself a dump the motherfucker crew neck sweatshirt. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, links to my YouTube and podcast. Just did. I love it. Love it. So uh, check out all the stuff in the link to my bio. Um, you can go get my books on Amazon if you want an audiobook. Fix that shit is available, but you can only get it through the link to my bio. Mwah.